Since this is officially the Gut Health Academy, I thought we probably should go over a little of the terminology that I'm gonna be using throughout the classes. Um, so when I talk about the gut, let's go over that first. The gut really is essentially everything from where the food goes in all the way to where the food goes out. So of course that's gonna include your mouth, your stomach, your small intestines, your large intestines, which is the colon, the rectum, and kind of everything else in between. Um, and then when I use words like the microbiome, microflora, microorganisms, Organisms. Those really essentially are just all little tiny microscopic bacteria that are in your body, on your body, but we're gonna be talking about the ones predominantly in your gut. So, um, they're really, there's so much to know about the gut and we're luckily learning more and more every day. There's a lot of science that's been dedicated to the gut. And what we now know actually started from something totally different. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Human Genome Project, but this was a project that was designed to try to map out the whole entire human um, genome and, and they did it and they did it very successfully and what they found out was really interesting humans only have about 23,000 genes well here's the crazy part a rice um, a rice plant or an earthworm have double that so when they were done with the human project the, the genome project the question was well how in the world do humans who are so complex have less genes than a rice plant or an earthworm? And that's what gave birth to something called the Human Microbiome Project. And that project only ended in 2013. So a lot of this recent research is, is really stuff that's quite new. But there are some things that we know that are really, really important to know. One of those is that we actually have more bacterial cells than we do have human cells. Um, and so, one thing is we're gonna go through in this class is just how important this bacteria. I mean, if we have 10 times more bacteria cells than we do human cells, how important it is for us to understand that intricate nature both between our body and the environment around us. So we'll delve a little bit more into that in our next video.